What's up guys, it's the Flick. Today, we're gonna to be talking about deadlift weaknesses. So we're gonna be talking about a couple different weaknesses, uh, whether it's off the floor, uh, in the mid range, in lockout, that type of thing. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we're gonna start off with talking about our weakness off the floor. So if you're one of those people that was like me for a long time, where um, if you could get the bar to come off the ground, you would complete the rep no matter what. Uh, but for some of you, the bar just will not budge off the ground. How can we rectify that? So what that means, if it is coming off the floor slowly, that means it, you have a quad weakness. What are some ways that we can fix that? One is by pulling from a deficit. Um, me personally, I wouldn't do more than a, you know, a one inch, one and a half inch deficit. That's just me. Um, I don't like doing um, too much because I don't like getting too bent over. Um, another thing is by, of course, squatting. That is going to be our main uh, quad builder. And by building up the quads, we can hopefully fix this issue of being slow off the floor. Next is our mid-range and the lockout part of our deadlift. So that is going to be about right below the knees uh, to lockout. How are we going to do that? And that is by building up our glutes, our hamstrings. Done. And we can do that best by our heels. RDL is very similar to a normal deadlift, and because of that, it's gonna have a ton of carryover. So you're teaching that movement patterning of pushing your hips through into the bar, and that will hopefully carry out over. Um, if you are having lockout issues, that could simply be a matter of form. Um, a lot of people uh, will round their upper back while deadlifting, which is technically fine, I do it. However, it can make locking out harder so the work around that, of course, is getting your upper back uh, big and strong. That way you can fully lock out the weight. Uh, of course, whenever I'm talking about all these weaknesses, we are assuming that your deadlift form is good to great. Um, if your deadlift form is bad, all this goes out the window. You need to go back to the drawing board and get your form right. And of course, for anyone that is just not starting out, you don't even have weaknesses yet because you're just all around weak. And for that, the answer is just deadlift more. Um, for a lot of people when they're first starting out, um, they can get scared of pushing the weight or they're over eager to push the weight. And it can cause a ton of issues down the road for their form. Um, so it's important whenever you're first starting out, take things slow and make sure that you're doing the movement the right way. Um, after you know the rules of deadlifting, you can break the rules for deadlifting, is what I would say. So for a new lifter, I recommend having, you know, their upper back completely in line with their lower back, all that stuff. For someone that's more experienced, you know, a little bit of rounding in the upper back isn't a huge deal. Um, because it's going to decrease that range of motion and make it a lot easier, of course, to pull it off the floor. With, of course, the compromise being that it could make it harder to lock out at the top. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more content. Have a great rest of your day.